Geology 252, or Field Studies in New Zealand Geology, is a field-based paper where our students get to apply the theoretical geologic knowledge that they've learned in the classroom um, in a field setting. In this paper, they'll learn some of the essential skills to be a field geologist and, and take on independent studies in earth science. And so we teach them fundamental skills such as uh, measuring the orientation of rocks, being able to accurately and adequately describe the nature of the different lithologies that they see in the field. They learn how to take samples of varieties of materials and record those observations um, in a field notebook. You're just so immersed in all of the field schools. You, I feel like there's no time for not geology. You're with people who just absolutely love it and you just bounce ideas off each other. On the first field trip, you go and you meet everyone and it's a big like, learning curve and you learn a lot about everyone in, in the group and you really um, gel and bond as a group. You really get to know your teaching staff and your lecturers a lot better in second year than you do in first year. 25 is the new strike direction. After One field area we visit is the Marathenoa field area in central Otago. And it occurs right at the tail end of summer, so the weather is usually pretty good and we have great exposures of sedimentary rocks and igneous rocks as well. The second field trip uh, takes place on the eastern margin of Fjordland, so students get to see some of the really rugged and wild parts of New Zealand. So students visit um, and see some of the igneous and metamorphic rocks exposed in the, in the Fjordland region and some of the sediments that have accumulated from erosion of those materials in an adjacent basin. I don't think I've been as excited when I found some garnet in the quartz over there and it looked just like the one that we looked at in lab and I was like, wow, I found it in, in nature. I really enjoy teaching within Geology 252. It's a great opportunity for me to interact with the students. The group sizes are typically small. It's very interactive. I get to learn a lot about the students and what they like to do, and I get to expose them to some fantastic geology on the South Island. Bits of geology that really tells the story of New Zealand's dynamic geologic history.